news in tonight. That massive commercial fire at a building in North Portland, it is still burning. It started inside a noodle manufacturing company where dozens of people worked. And then today, our Lisa Bailick talked with some of the workers there. She joins us live from North Portland. Lisa, I imagine it must be hard for them. I mean, their livelihood is now gone. Yeah, absolutely. There are some 60 workers. In fact, I briefly talked to the owner out here, not on camera, and he said, yeah, there's about 60 workers. He's trying to figure out where he can start over again to try and get everybody back to work at some point. I'm going to step out of the way. You can take a look at the situation here compared to yesterday when it was a rip roaring fire. You could see the front walls have collapsed. If you were watching live on coin yesterday, you see a big difference. But keep in mind, there are still hot spots. Fire still going inside and the firefighters are still here. Hard to believe the fire is still burning inside this century-old building. Fire crews facing a challenge with so much flammable cooking oil inside. Too dangerous to go in. Still pouring thousands of gallons from the open roof. Fire investigators here today starting to look into an official cause. But it's definitely far less of a blaze now than when it started yesterday. Black smoke even blanketing a section of nearby I-5. Workers at the commercial factory tell me today they were making noodles, their products shipped around the country. They use huge vats of oil as part of the cooking process. A fire started in the venting hood above. They tell me they grabbed fire extinguishers, but the fire rapidly grew. The company with about 60 employees, everybody got out safely, but many leaving personal items behind. No one injured. Today, firefighters still trying to fight the fire from outside. We were here today when one of the walls collapsed. We've had so much water and so much fire damage that the wall is now collapsing as we speak, which is why we don't have anybody in there now, which is why we didn't put anybody in there last night. But there's a tremendous amount of fuel that we don't have access to with regard to where the walls have prevented our ability to get the hose stream there. The fire didn't spread thanks to some 100 firefighters working the blaze. I talked with workers at nearby businesses, from auto repair to makeup manufacturing. Once I saw it's on the other side of the street and the fire department was here, and it had to jump that, it had to jump the street this way, or jump that alley into this building, I feared we were pretty safe. Many nearby businesses back open today, but lots of complaints of smoke. Some workers deciding just to go home. Streets still filled with water and fire trucks. As for Shinshin, there are dozens of workers now without a job. They tell me the owner is already, though, trying to find a new space. Now, we asked and know the building did not have sprinklers because it was 100 years old, not required. But clearly, it's going to be a process to clean up here. In fact, we've seen cleanup just starting on this section of North Thompson as well. A lot of the businesses though say they are hoping that everything gets cleaned up fairly quickly and they can get back into business. It's been a struggle for a lot of trucks and delivery trucks to go up and down here. Again though, as far as the folks that were employed here, they tell me that they don't know how long they're going to be out of work and their owner says he is definitely working on trying to get them a new space as soon as he can. Live in North Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.